Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a January book haul part two. So what happened was I got this new job at a bookstore and that first, I think, week and a half, I was doing like trainings to last trial. So instead of getting paid actual money, you get paid in store credit. So I would be, it would go like towards the store and we would keep track of it. And so if I wanted to take home some books, we could just sort of Subtract it off my total store credit. Total. We would subtract it from my total store credit. So basically the books would be free. And so I ended up getting a pretty decent stack of books. And I might get some. <clears throat> my goodness. And I might get some more today. Because I'm supposed to go in and like learn how to use the computer. And how to do some shipments. So I, if I see anything that I'm interested in. I might pick it up today. There were a couple series that like I've read before. That I want to collect so I can reread or just to finish the collection on my shelf but I kind of want to get new books but at the same time my TBR is already big enough as it is so I feel like I might just get books that I'm in the middle of a series so I can finish that series and like knock that off my TBR but we'll see so the first thing I want to talk about is something I think Peyton Reads would be very very happy to see that I did is I got these hardcover editions of the Hunger Games trilogy. This is Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. So, me being me, when I was shelving books, obviously had to, you know, snoop around the young adult teen section and see what they had, because, you know, I'm just, you know, shelving books. And I saw they had a shelf. And, like, a, this, so the shelf was really long. So imagine a really long bookshelf, right? This, I guess, like this is, I guess this is how big the section was with Hunger Games was. They had paper deck editions, they had arcs, they had hardcovers, they had, I think, a couple other covers that were different. They had um, movie cover editions, and I was like, mm, some of them a little beat up, some a little like cover used, some were annotated, and I was like, nah. Because the first thing I thought of was like, ooh, Peyton Reads would be really happy that I did this because I've been trying to get the series without spending too much money. Second, she's doing a read-along between February and May when the new book comes out, Ballad of Songs and Snakes. So, I got them. I got the prettiest, like, brand spanking new looking hardcover editions. I think the only thing that makes them look not as new is that the pages are, like, yellowed a little bit. It's like a little, just a little bit. But I got them. Again, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay. If you don't know what this series is about, this is about a teen named Katniss Everdeen. And every, I can't remember how many years, they do this thing called the Reaping, where they choose two people from each, oh no, that's it. I keep thinking sector, but it's not the right thing. I don't, I don't remember what it's called. It's, I know it's not sector. Uh, districts. They choose a boy and a girl from each district to participate in the Hunger Games, where the Hunger Games is like this big televised event where they have a bunch of kids fight to the death, and it's uh, pretty wild. And at this reaping, her sister is chosen, which is weird because... I mean, not really weird, it's just wild because of all those tickets in there, her sister was chosen. Her sister only had one in there. Compared to someone like Katniss's age, will have multiple tickets put in there as she got older. So she volunteered as tribute, which is basically, I'm taking their place to do that. And now she's in the Hunger Games, and she's going to this, try to, basically just trying to survive and get through this. And then, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movies or anything, you would already know that she won. But she survived in a way that typically does not happen. She survived with another person. And that was the guy in her district. And now the two of them are trying to survive afterwards because it seems like the capital's a little mad. I read this series a couple times in my life. I just never had a physical copy. I think I've always had the ebook, like bind up ebook edition. And then I had audiobooks on, you know, at the library that I borrowed. I never had this. Now that I do. I can read it. These next two books are part of another read-along that I'm participating in. This is actually one that I am hosting, and that is 
the Bane Chronicles hardcover edition and City of Glass paperback edition. So I'm pretty sure they get books pretty frequently because I remember the last time I was working there, these were not there. The only ones they had was City of Ashes and City of Bones here back, and I was like, I already have those, I don't need those. But I saw these and I was like, great, I can get it. Now I can and I can slowly complete my Shadowhunter collection and also have more physical copies that I can read instead of, you know, borrowing or purchasing. City Glasses is book three in the Mortal Instruments series, which I think the main characters are Clary, um, Jace, Alec, Isabel, Simon, etc. And then the Bane Chronicles is like a, I want to say like a collection of sh short stories throughout the life of Magnus Bane, who is a warlock slash wizard in this Shadowhunter world and warlock wizards tend to live for a very long time. I don't know how long or how old he is, but I know he's very, very old and it's just basically just his life from beginning to like now. Well, I don't, if you would like to participate in these Shadowhunter read along, I will link the video and the Twitter page down below. The Twitter page is kind of dead, like, I'm not responding on there, and people, they're not really just talking to me on there, so just, like, do my regular Twitter or just comment on the video, and I hope you guys have fun. Feel free to jump in at any time. I'm kind of going in and out. As of right now, I believe we're on City of Ashes, so I'm going to pick that up really soon and let you guys know my thoughts when I do a wrap-up. So this next book is called Fable Haven, book one, paperback. I read this back, I believe, in elementary school, middle school, and it's about... Two siblings, Kendra and Seth, to go visit their grandfather, and they found out their grandfather, he's like the caretaker slash the guardian, the security guard over this place called Fablehaven, which is the, I want to say like the world, the, the, the home, that, that sounds better, the home where a lot of witches live, trolls, beasts, you know, many other things. Fortunately, one day something or someone gets out and now that they are out they're starting to wreak havoc people are trying to follow them through and now Seth and Kendra are trying to find a way to get them back in and save the world it's a middle grade it's exactly what it sounds like it is they're kids something happens they save the world it's great it's all me I say I do remember reading this one but I never read these two so hopefully one day I can finally finish a series but I could never seem to finish a series this next book is an ARC, which actually one of my co-workers donated to the store, and I happened to get it, like, the day after. I didn't know they donated it to the day of. And this is Ringer, which is part two in the Replica series by Lauren Oliver. It is about two girls, Lyra, okay, well, hold on. Ooh, sorry, Lyra and Gemma. They meet in the first book because I believe Lyra is running away from the school place that she was in, and then Gemma was just doing her thing. And they're like, come, um, you look like me. And I look like you. What, what's happening in here? And so they find out that Lyra was in a school of clones. And Gemma's trying to figure out why in the world all these clones look like her. I think, and I believe the one connection they figure out is that I believe one of Lyra's family members works at this place. So now she's kind of like, what you do? And so they're going on this journey trying to figure out why this happened, who did this, what is this for, why she's running away, why this film member did this, etc. Fun day three, book two. Next book I want in a giveaway, and that is The Kingdom by Jess Wappenberg, which I believe is about, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Anna, who was like a half human, half android type person. And they work at this theme park where a lot of people go to, and, you know, she's a robotic. She doesn't really, she does what she's programmed to do. But one day she meets this guy named Owen that she really has feelings for. They kind of have a relationship, things seem to happen. But one night he goes missing. And then he's found, dead. And then it's declared he's murdered. So everyone's eyes are on Anna. Anna's just here like, I just figured out what love is. I don't even know how to do murder. I don't hello 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 <laughs> so now she's trying to go through this journey trying to figure out 
you know, what happened between her and Owen, where was Owen, who really did this, why they did this, things like that. I'm actually really excited to do this because I feel like it's kind of like two stories in one. Like one, it's a murder mystery, and two, it's a romance because it's a, between a robot-ish and a human. I'm interested. And this last book for this haul, that is going to be this really big Halo Reach Xbox One Sinatra Series Guide. My family loves gaming, and one of the games we really, really play, and we have been playing for years, is Halo Reach. We do not have Xbox 360 anymore, we do play it on Xbox One, and I thought this would be really cool to help the family out with like certain missions and how to do this and different weapons and stuff. It's got off work, and I wanted to mention two more books, because like I said, I do have some extra store credit left over from my job, and so I decided to pick up two books. I do still have like $10 left, so I might save that for later, but as of right now, I do have two more books to add to this thing, so that I'd, you know, throw it in. The first one is another Shadowhunter book. It has the paperback edition of City of Fallen Angels, which is book four. So I now own one through four in Moral Instruments. Hopefully, maybe we'll get the other ones. Um, I grabbed this as soon as I saw it because this does, you know, sell pretty fast there. Like, I grabbed it and I put it on the shelf where my name is. And, like, ten minutes later, some lady asked if we had Shadowhunter books. And then, like, two hours later, another girl asked for some, and I was just like, good thing I grabbed it, because I would have not had it. The next book I got is something that I read in the childhood, as a child, and I believe there's a movie. No. No, there isn't. But there's a movie of a book by the same author. And I really, really enjoyed both of these books. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, I didn't think they made these anymore, but they do, and that is Fairest by Gail Carson Coat Levine. If you were talking about like all-time favorites as in something I have enjoyed all my life, this and Ella Enchanted are like top five. Like, So the fact that I had a hardcover edition that looks pretty new, I mean, there's like a little bit of tearing like right there at the cover. And it's like slightly yellow pages. Are you serious? I can get it for free. I got it. And I'm really excited to reread this because I want to pretend like I'm back in elementary slash middle school and enjoy these fairy tale so yeah so that is all the books um i believe the last book that I did not mention has not arrived yet because i won a goodreads giveaway and that is the bone collector i don't remember anything about that book it's actually something that i saw on goodreads it looked really cool like i liked the cover and i entered and i got an email this morning saying that i won and they're giving out 2,000 copies, which I thought was amazing. So, whenever that gets here or to my house, I will be sure to show you that in my next haul. I did mention that I won a book or two in Goodreads giveaway. I do not believe I'm getting those in the mail in time for this to go up. As a matter of fact, I think my Goodreads is set to my house address, and I will not be home for another two half weeks. So, yeah. So... Here is many of the books here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.